South Melbourne markets, been around since 1867, long time serving Melbourne. My favorite way of cooking snapper is the Vietnamese way, with lots of lemongrass, pounded in a pestle with garlic, chili, fish sauce, lime rind, lemon rind, and but the least lime juice. The next step would be to go to the vegetable markets, maybe some spices, maybe some herbs, and try to see if I can put this recipe together. Back at Bellucci, as I promise you, the Vietnamese beautiful snapper with lemongrass, pounded coriander, a bit of chili, a little bit of lemon rind, maybe a lemon juice and lime juice, and we simply bake it in foil. So what I'll do is have a look around my restaurant. I'm going to go back in the kitchen, do a preparation, and you come back there and I'll show you how it's all done. As promised, here we have the beautiful snapper. The one we bought from the market, remember? About 700 grams, uh, without the bones, maybe 650, 600, something like that. Now, what the plan was, as we discussed, we're gonna make a beautiful Vietnamese baked snapper. I am not gonna use any banana leaf, but I'm gonna use the modern thing called the foil. Basically to induce flavor in the fish, it's a very, very fresh fish. I can just about kiss it. I'm going to gash it. After gashing it, I'm going to lemon it or lime it. That is for the reason to induce flavor. So we got flavors in here. If you come down to my herbs and spices, my herbs in here and spices, of course, with chili. I got red chili. I got green chili. I got some uh, lemongrass. Beautiful, fresh, aromatic, delicious hydroponic basil. It's not as strong as the normal one. And then we have this most incredible herb called coriander, also called cilantro. Cilantro is an Italian herb, which is a bit of a family of parsley, but of course adopted by the Asians and now this national herb of Thailand. Also, we have the infamous garlic, and of course, the most beautiful herb which I love, I adore, is fresh root ginger. Last but least, lime. Beautiful lime, beautiful lime rind, delicious, high on sugar, balanced by citrus acid, citric acid. I'm going to gash the um, our snapper. It has a hollow inside which we will season and fill up. It's a little trick, so I'm going to gash it. Uh, maybe, maybe four gashes to three, four, turn it over, other way around, this side going in, one, two, three, four. The reason I'm doing this is because, as I said before, induced flavor, cooks easier, well, the spine can stay, that's no problem, and the dorsal fin can stay too, no problem. So basically, I'll just take my lemon. These are a part of the ABCDs of my recipe. I will talk about it later, don't worry, there's no confusion about it. So main essential ingredient is the fish. Then are the herbs and spices, which I'm gonna rub in here, which is number two. And then we bake it, that's number three, and when it's ready, it's number four. Lime, make sure your fish is bent and the gash is open. Put some lime inside, shut it, turn it over. Again, nice all close in the back, and put lime in here. Once she's receptive, put it back in there. Bit of a love salt. You know they say in Italy, and the Romans said the same thing too. A woman is beautiful if the salt is right. Same with the food. Don't miss out on this most beautiful mineral ever. Pat it. Say hello to the fish. Now it's ready. Give it about 5-10 minutes to settle down. Let the salt sink in. Let the lime sink in. Now, there's no reason why we should waste this beautiful lime. It's delicious to eat. I can eat the skin and I can eat the pulp. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut this into half. Stick it in the hollow. It's already been, oh, sorry. You could put some salt in there. Other trick we can do is lemongrass. So I would say we just simply gash it. My mallet, good old faithful Chinese mallet, pound it, one pound only, just to release the beautiful perfume. In it goes. 
in the stomach. Now what is going to happen is, the moisture content, content inside the stomach. When the lemongrass heats up, it's going to release the beautiful perfume. The perfume is going to come through the fish. And you wouldn't believe, once you open the foil up, heavens, absolutely beautiful. Watch this now. Next one. There's no need for us to be cruel to our coriander. Give a bit of a bruise and releases the perfume. In it goes. I know it's looking stuffy in there, looking very stuffy inside the fish, but believe you me, this is what it's all about. Next, our beautiful fresh basil. In harmony, this lives beautifully with coriander. Here goes the basil. Same, crushed, squeezed. Now, instead of chopping it up in small pieces, there is no reason why I can't split this into half and put the whole chili in. This chili will cook inside, believe you me. Right in the end, when we're having the fish, I'll show you how we eat this too. Here we go. The chili in there. Ginger. I am not going to put it inside. I'm going to do something else with it and you'll see what it's all about. Garlic. Same thing. Pounding. Very noisy. Just crush it. Leave the skin on. You don't have to peel the garlic even. It's fresh, beautiful. Put it inside. Another piece, not too much. It'll overpower the beautiful flavor of the fish. And that's how far it will go. No more. One more thing and the last thing, which I haven't forgotten. I'm going to do it right now. Take the ginger. Little wedges of ginger. Like that. And stick it in the gashes. One here. Another one in here, another one in here. But don't need to put the same thing in the bottom. There's your foil already. One thing I'll do which is unusual, very unusual. I don't think so. You could have seen that before. You might have. No guarantees. Here we go. Rock salt. Amazing. Now, all these beautiful, gorgeous herbs in the bottom of the rock salt. That's the bed for the fish. Salt in the bottom, this, and then goes your fish on top. Sit it on top, lime juice, squeeze some more in. Don't throw it away, leave it there on top. Maybe, maybe, maybe if you like, you can put this chili on top of the extra virgin olive oil. I know the bottle is not fancy, but this is what I use in the restaurant. Here we go. Pour some oil, maybe some inside. One more thing I forgot which I should have remembered. Normally I would have cracked some pepper up with the pepper, but we will do the final moment. And you know something? I don't feel like cooking it anymore because it looks like a painting. I think we should frame it. What do you think, my second chef? Yeah, we should. Let's cover the fish up. Here you go, the final moment. Here we go. And now, 25 minutes to half an hour in about 200 degrees this is going to come out with the most beautiful aioli of the fish and all the herbs and spices all together so succulent so delicious so white watch here it goes on the top shelf oven shut Time to check the beautiful snapper, Vietnamese snapper. Here we go. Ah, look at the flesh. This is the most beautiful white flesh of snapper. Mmm, mamma mia. Oh, it is so beautiful. It's sweet. I can taste the ginger. I can taste the basil, I can taste the chili, and yet the fish is not that dominant, but it's still there. Have it for dinner tonight or lunch tomorrow. Doesn't matter, maybe for breakfast. Ciao, ciao. I'll see you next time.